Yes, sir, there she is. Canada, my friends. It beckons me again, at long last. All good things come to an end. My time here in Yumia, Sweden has come to an end. My time with the folks at Tune Track has come to an end. And now, I must leave. I must fly as the flies fly. Farewell, Sweden. It's been wonderful. I must go. Duty call. So what happened over the past few days? Well, we played the Getaway Festival in Sweden uh, with the Devon Townsend Project. And after that, being in Sweden, uh, the folks from Toon Track brought me to Umia, up north here, and we're currently at the Toon Track Studios. And I have been spending the past couple of days getting presets ready for the Easy Mix package that's based on guitar sounds. <laughs> So basically, um, I've had a, a sort of a template for sounds that I've used for many years. To make a long story short, I, I record late into the night and I like the idea of being able to record the same sound as I use live. If I've got those banks set up while I'm recording, it's very easy for me to quickly call up any sound that creatively I feel is important for the song. So with this uh, product, what I've essentially done is taken those same steps with the engine that they've created in order to make their easy mix system and done my sounds, a selection of clean sounds, a bass sound, a couple of heavy sounds, and a lead sound. And that way, um, for myself or for anybody else who's interested in sort of getting in the ballpark as to where I would start, these sounds will allow you to do that in a way that I would be comfortable with. The sounds that I've been interested in have always been high budget records. I love that sound. I love the, the slickness of, of big productions and like the, the mixes in the big SSL studios. I love that. Unfortunately, it's difficult to sort of convince the powers that be that a musical about a coffee drinking puppet deserves that sort of a treatment. So I found that I do most of my stuff in home studios or on my laptop while we're touring. And as a result of that, the, uh, the tune track stuff's always been a revelation for me because it allows me to quickly access a lot of those sounds. And I was, on Epicloud, I used the Easy Mix for a lot of it. I used the Easy Drummer uh, exclusively on the Ziltoid record. I've used uh, Superior and Easy Drummer on every record I've done since it's been out. And for me, a lot of what is uh, productive about that is if there's something that sounds better than what I'm capable of doing, I've got no egotistical hang up about just using it. And the fact that, for example, the easy drummer stuff is pre-mixed, that's perfect for me. You know what I mean? I can just sort of drop it into a session and then continue to be creative rather than chastise myself for not having the same level of production expertise as the people that spend all this time making it, right? But even at that, mixing it in with your own products and everything. The Toontrack stuff for me is indispensable. Mm -hmm.